Hey there, Rodrigo here for Textualize and in this short video I want to show you how you can do logging with two specific widgets that are there for you to have access to logging capabilities. So I'll start by showing you one of those widgets. So if you run the textual demo with python mtextual, you should have an application that looks like this and you can scroll and you can move around and it's going to show you a couple of the widgets that we provide out of the box. Now, if you press, I think F1, yes, exactly. So if you press F1, there's a, and you can also um, use the footer button, sorry. So if you press F1, you'll have a panel like this that shows a couple of um, logging messages when you click the sidebar here on the left or when you click the start button over here. So this logging that's happening is happening with one of these widgets that I want to tell you about. So let's see how you can have that type of logging in your own applications. So right in front of me, I have a, a very simple application. The only thing that's happening here is I have a button and I created a handler for the button press, but the handler doesn't do anything yet. So if I run my application, actual run, but uh, sorry, my app. So I have a button there, but nothing happens. And what I want to do is I want to log the press of the button. So I want to change this event handler to log the button presses. And like I said, there's two ways in which you can do that. One of those is by using the reach log widgets. So I'm going to yield a reach log here. And in here, I'm going to query the reach log. And then I'm going to use the write method to write the whole event. So the event here is a button pressed event. And I'm going to write the event to the reach log. Now, the reach log is called reach log because it allows you to write reach renderables. So if something is a renderable, you can write it to the log, even though it's not a string. So, for example, the event here is a button pressed instance, but it's a rich um, renderable, and so you can write it to the log directly. And so, if I run the application now, if I click the button, you'll see that the button press is being logged. Sorry about that. The button press is being logged, and it even has um, color. So, this is the high level um, rich log widget. Now, there's a counterpart to it, which is the it's simply the log widget and the log widget it's it's a bit of a, um, a lower level logging widget so i say it's a lower level logging widget because it only works with strings and it has a couple of methods to write stuff into so let's see you can write to it and it will not create a new line so you can write things across uh, the same line. You can write a single line or you can write a bunch of lines at the same time, but it only works with strings. So you can see the right or right line, which is the one I'm going to use. Can I see, uh, I can scroll to see the whole thing, can I? No, I can't, but it only accepts a string. So maybe if I do this, no. Um, so it's not going to accept the event. As you can see, it's complaining. You have to turn it into a string. So something like event of class, but name, for example, so the name of the event, or just let's just convert the event to a string. So now this will work. Uh, if I run it again, click, and there you go. There's the rich log in pink and the regular log with the strings. So these are the two logging widgets that Textual provides out of the box, and they're going to be useful if you want to do some logging that's obviously, because these are widgets, visible in your application so if you want to have like a status a status log of something of some sort you can either use rich log or log and if you want to have colorful outputs and if you want to write more complex objects you're going to probably want to use rich log and if you're doing lower level logging if you want to write strings only then you will be um, better served with the log widget so that that's it for now I'll leave the documentation links below and the code. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Cheers.